Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about um, design for assembly um, that was available or made available in QIR7 of 17.2, which was Hotfix 48. It's available in all levels of the tool, so Walker PCB Designer Standard, Professional, and Allegra PCB Designer. So um, if we launch Constraint Manager um, and we look at the design for assembly um, or the manufacturing worksheet and then design for assembly, we've got different kind of rule sets so we can do effectively outline to, so component to outline, component to cut out, paste mask to outline, paste mask to cut out. There's a package to package space in which I'll cover a little bit later. There's a spacing mode so you can look at component bodies to things like edge part, um, edge fingers and holes and wires and pins and stuff. Uh, and then there's the paste mask DRCs as well. So if we did a first one, we'll do an outline. We'll click on to create a new C set. Uh, and we'll just say uh, component to outline I don't know, let's specify a millimetre here and components are cut out a millimetre. So that's the board edge to a component. We'll go to the outline here and we will then, let's just do view, transpose the view so I can see my different sections. So the primary, I'm going to make uh, all my different uh, layers use my DRC rule. If we go to analyze analysis modes and we look at the outline we'll just enable all the DRC checks apply an OK and if we go back to the main canvas and update the DRC window I then get some DRC errors so if you just kind of start to scroll in and have a look here we'll see a DRC error here hover over it I've got a component placement of 0.794 um, my constraint value is a millimeter so what I would probably have to do is you know if I then go and use the placement edit mode and just move the component Make it a millimeter of the DRC then disappears. And we can work away work your way around clearing the DRCs based on this. Um, from a cutout point of view, um, I haven't actually got a component too close to a cutout, but if I do that, you can obviously see I'll get a, a DRC error there. Um, so that's the outline two DRC checks. If we then go back to constraint manager um, and we then look at uh, the package to package spacing. So predominantly most people would use effectively the place bound. Um, from a placement point of view so if I had parts that were overlapping let's just uh, move this part here you'll see effectively a DRC because I've got an overlap but there are some instances where you might want to have spacing rules depending on how the component was rotated so if you've got a constraint manager now let's look at the package to package spacing uh, in the rule set sorry uh, click on the plus sign to make a new spacing C set so we'll call this rule 2 I then get a, a matrix option so I can have effectively side to side, end to end, side to end or end to side with some default values. So let's just specify say half a millimetre for all of these and for the two um, end to end and end to side I'm going to specify 0.25 millimetre. <coughs> we can then do this on a symbol by symbol basis so we could browse for symbols, move all our symbols across and then it effectively it will give me a matrix option um, which makes quite a big table if you've got quite a lot of different PCB footprints you can see I've got a fair few here so it might make more sense to actually do this as a symbol classification so if we do show symbol classifications we can actually create some symbol classifications here so I'm going to create one called a connector I'll create one called uh, discrete one called IC and one called mech for mechanical parts and this one I've actually got a package class of mechanical parts so then it's just a matter of taking these items and moving them across the select in the folder that you want you can do this individually with a click like this or you can use a group select function so using the control key let's call my connectors put those in the connectors There's all my ICs. There's actually another connector. So then my mechanical parts. There's actually an IC as well. So 
the rest of discrete parts. Once I'm happy with that, I then get effectively some different matrix options. So connected to mechanical parts, connected to ICs, connected to discrete. So you can actually set different values here. So if I went um, ICs to ICs, for example, let's make them a millimeter. So that's in, in every uh, rotation of the parts. We then go to the package to package spacing and we'll then uh, apply the rule. So I'll apply rule two to my assembly layers and then analyze analysis modes, package to package spacing, and we'll turn on the DRCs. So we then do an update DRC. I then get lots of DRC errors. So um, if we start to hover over, let's just simplify the display. So I've got a view here for my, uh, my top side board. So if we zoom in here, obviously I've got a, a spacing of uh, half a millimeter and I've got 0.498. So I can then, using the placement edit mode, just drag my component down a little bit to get the, the actual spacing that I need. Same with the IC, so discrete to discrete, 0.45. I've got some spacing adjustments, but by moving the components apart or by adjusting the values, you can then start to work your way through these DRC errors.